Hi, um, welcome to another video for the engineering. What I have today um, is a um, few buck and boost converters and a charger. Uh, these are becoming very popular and uh, on the internet and eBay and stuff and you can get them for a few bucks. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, test uh, test them, see how responsive they are, um, the voltage repo and uh, how you can adjust them for your needs. So, what I have here, um, I have these three units here. Um, this one uh, is the this is the buck converter, which um, just try to get a focus. Um, which uses LM two five nine six. Just click on the video and you see the uh, review on this one. This one uh, uses the same chip LM two five nine six. This can be used as a LED driver or battery charger, lithium ion or um, other type of batteries. This one is a boost converter, and this one uses a different uh, chip. And this is um, XL five double zero nine E one. Okay, so for each of these, just click on the link uh, to watch the video. Okay, let's look at this one. Um, so this one, uh, you can, I don't know, when you search, you can buy it as a battery charger, as a LED driver, and many other things. And what do you want to do with it? It uses a LM2596, which is a buck converter. Uh, they cramped a lot of stuff in, this is small, you can see, it's smaller than finger of mine and um, they got these uh, two diodes and at both uh, polarities negative and positive and remember you still need to connect the polarities right otherwise you damage this um, 35 volt 220 microfarad uh, low ESR capacitor okay so this thing has a 33 micro Henry inductor. Um, this thing is a, like a 7805 regulator, so 5 volt regulator for this uh, uh, chip here. And for this specific board, uh, they kind of lasered off the remove their um, code on that. Um, but um, I did a bit of um, research, and it turned out to be um LM358 um which is surprisingly it's a dual operational amplifier dual op amp um and these things it's pretty much pretty smart um so the first uh, potentiometer it's um called the CV so constant voltage adjustment so let's say you got a 4 point volt um, you got a 3.8 um, um, lithium ion battery um, you have to know its floating voltage and the charging voltage so um, let's assume it's 4.2 so you set this on 4.2 um, adjusting this and this one is the constant current adjustment so you can adjust how much current you're pumping into it so I think you can do up to 2 amp or something with that. And um, the middle one, which is very ambiguous uh, but when you buy this, um, um, some call it uh, the charge uh, revolving light current adjustment. Basically what it is, um, because especially with lithium ion bat batteries, um, when you reach a certain voltage in charging or when the battery is flat and you connect it to the uh, charger um, you don't want to um, so when, you, when the charger finishes or when it's flat you don't want to uh, continuously 
putting the current same same charging card, let's say one amp to the battery you want to drop it down and this thing is kind of a multiplier which you can set it from 1 over 10 I don't know to 1 over 5 I haven't tested it yet so basically if you adjust the current with this to 1 amp charging current when this thing we'll see uh, we'll see the 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 voltage reaches 4.4.2 volt which you previously adjusted with this one it will reduce the charging current by factor of this one which let's say 1 over 10 and put it onto floating charge that means it's like a um, trickle charging so 1 over 10 of 1 amp 100 milliamp it's just trickle charges and it's it's very handy I haven't tested it I'm gonna test this so what do we have here I set up my equipment uh, to start doing the testings um, first thing you need to do um, so I'm gonna use this um, board um, to do to charge my batteries you can as I mentioned you can use it to drive your LEDs and stuff as well first thing you need to do you need to measure the voltage uh, across the output of your batteries that you want to charge doesn't matter if you want to um, charge like one battery one battery or two uh, doesn't matter so these are lithium-ion batteries uh, this one it says 4500 milliamp but um, I don't think so <laughs> it's one of the cheap uh, yes Chinese one um, which I got from eBay on about three bucks each or something <clears throat> now I'll measure the voltage across these so so I can set the um, voltage output um, of this charger um, according to the, according to my batteries um, otherwise if it's if it will be too high it will damage my batteries obviously if it's too low it's not going to do anything but if it's too high it will damage the batteries or, um, yeah okay okay um, just measure the batteries uh, so set up to 20 DC and make these there 7.82 I'm, I'm using a meter man 5 XP uh, multimeter so it says 7, uh, 7.82 volt DC so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to uh, set up the voltage to because these lithium ions the charging I looked up the data sheets for a typical lithium ion battery of this size a Panasonic, this is a, a genuine uh, Panasonic one um, and I looked up the data sheet for that and like uh, I checked the vo charging voltage, the floating um, voltage of that and it's around 4.1, 4.2 volt um, in another video I'm gonna go through a uh, a charging cur curve and uh, how you have to um, set it up for different types of batteries and what's be best for like cycling it and uh, um, what best rate okay let's turn this on so turn the power supply on okay I've got the light the light is on on this one there's a green light there. Um, let's just use this. I got the wrong polarity. But that's better. Okay. So the voltage, so two four point two will give you um, eight point four. Let's set it to that. So. This one has three potentiometers. Um, the first one is to adjust the voltage. As you can see, voltage is dropping. Just you do it uh, counterclockwise to drop it. 
let's put it be safe for uh, eight point three five. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. So that's our output voltage. What I'm going to do. What's important about these things, uh, they don't have a very good protection, so you have to make sure you connect it with the right polarity, especially at the battery side. Okay, so because I want to measure the current, I'm using a Fluke 289. These things are a piece of art, they're really good. So I'm just connecting, uh, um, select it to current and put my uh, probes here. Um, in series, and then I'm gonna connect connect the negative first. Don't have a very good connection, but I'm just doing this for testing. Um, and I'm gonna connect my uh, Hayaki MR8 8880 um, to the output, so I can look at the voltage as well. Okay, so this is my voltage. That is that. Oh, it's not a good connection. Okay, that's that negative. Positive to here. Okay, let's look at here. Okay, the voltage did drop. I did set it up previously to 8.35. Now it's 8.1. Um, let me zoom in a bit. Current, um, it's negative. Don't worry about it because with the wrong uh, polarities, uh, it's about 150 milliamp. Um, the green light on this is on. So according to the specs or the description on the item when you buy it, it says this potentiometer is to adjust the output current. So let's just play around with that. And the light still. Um, it's green, this one is on, so the output current is not changing. I'm turning the potentiometer clockwise, that should increase the current. Nothing. The voltage is pretty constant. This is my input voltage, channel 1, 12.2 volt. The output is 8.1 volt DC on channel 2, the blue one. Okay, so nothing is happening on my Hmm. Current adjustment. Let's try this. So this one, as I mentioned, is to um, adjust the floating current. That means when your battery is fully charged, this would be like a factor for floating current. Clockwise. To increase it. Nothing is happening. The voltage is still the same. Anti-clockwise to drop it, nothing happened. Okay, something's wrong here. Uh, let's adjust the voltage just a bit. Okay, that's doing something. So as I increase the voltage to 8.2, uh, my output current increased to 200 milliamp. Let's make it 8.4. Uh -huh. 8.4 output voltage, current 300 milliamp. Let's go a bit more. I don't want to damage the batteries. Okay, 350. 350. I'm just gonna play with these potentiometers. They do nothing. That's disappointing. 
do nothing. So the, this is the current. Um, useless. I'm going to increase the voltage by to um, 8.6. I'm going to go up. Yep, so as I increase the voltage, the output voltage, the current is going higher, 400 milliamp, which is not what I want. Uh, I want at least an amp charging this, which should take um, at least three to four hours to charge these two. Um, so uh, that means the voltage across each of these, because they're in series, the batteries, um, and now I divide that by two is uh, 4.3, which is not a very safe level. It just increase a bit. 8.8 increasing. Okay, something's wrong with this with an, um, unit. So here you go. Uh, if you bought the same thing and you have a same problem uh, with it, uh, just comment below. Let, let me know how did you go with yours and any idea to fix it or uh, what's wrong with it. I haven't checked anything yet. Um, let me kill the supply. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you watch my other videos um, where I'm gonna um, test the, my buck, uh, buck and boost converters. And this one was kind of fairly, I cannot really use it for as charging, uh, but I can use it as a buck converter anyway. Yeah, thanks for watching.